Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv. Today I'm excited to talk to you about how we can control the playback speed of a Timeline Light or Timeline Max instance. And not only can we change the rate of speed that it plays back, but we can also ease the change in that rate of speed. So here I have a very simple Timeline set up that uses a Tween Max All to Tween to tell an array of boxes to basically scale up and fade in. Now they're all happening at the same rate with the same amount of delay. So it's a very consistent playback that you see here. But what we can do with tween light is that we can literally tween any tween and we can tween any timeline. Now that might seem crazy, but I wanna show you that this very simple timeline that I have set up, I can tween its current progress property and apply an ease to it. So we get these fun little bounces. So now, the playback of all of those tweens is being bounced, meaning when those tweens get to the end, it rewinds and then does a little bounce move here. I can also say, hey, you know what? I want these guys to start fast and then slow down at the end, so I can apply a circ ease out. And so now you'll see they start really quick and then slow down. And we can also say, hey, start slow, speed up, and then slow down. Um, so what we're going to do is show you how we can change the playback rate of a timeline light instance by easing its current progress property. I'm also going to be talking about tweening the time scale property. Um, both of these methods can be used interchangeably. You can get similar results and some results you might only get with one method or the other. Um, but here, if I have a timeline that's playing very slow, here I'm going to tween the time scale property. So right now it's the same exact timeline, but it's starting with a time scale equal to 0.2. By hitting fast forward, what I'm going to be doing is tweening the time scale property up to 4 over the period of 0.5 seconds. So here I'm going to start playing very slow, and then I'm going to say, hey, you know what, speed it up, and it just goes right to the end. Okay very quickly. So let's start off though with talking about tweening the current progress of a timeline. Well I have this very simple file set up right here that's using the same exact timeline with the same settings. We're tweening an array of movie clips up to a scale of 1 and an alpha of 1 with 0.2 seconds in between. Now we just saw that timeline play but each timeline has a current progress property so I can jump back to 25% of the timeline's full progress. Go to hip halfway, three quarters of the way, 100% of the way. So the current progress value is a value between zero and one. And I can not only set this, prop, this value at any given time, but I can also tween that value. And that's where the magic comes in. So by Referencing the timeline, TL is the name of my timeline, I can set its current progress to a value between 0 and 1. So now let's show you how we're going to tween that value. Okay, I have set up over here my demo file. Again, it's showing you the uh, same timeline code. And if we test this out, I just want to show you that the timeline plays normally at first. Okay, So it just gives you a little preview of how that timeline is going to play and you'll see that each box plays back at the same rate. So what I want to do is tween, I'm sorry, I'm going to ease the current progress property of that timeline. So let's go into my code here. And what I'm going to do is just show you the meat of this right now. I have a function that puts a bunch of those boxes on the stage, pulls them out of the library, and then I'm setting up my timeline light instance, and I'm just appending one all to tween here and I have some button code ready to go that has nothing in it. So let's do this. Let's start out now by pausing this timeline. Okay, I'm going to say in the constructor paused is going to be true and then I'm going to set up a tween. I'm going to say hey let's call my this my demo tween. We're going to be a tween light. All right. And we're going to say tween light 2. 
Now, what you're normally used to tweening are display objects like movie clips, buttons, text fields. But here, I'm going to be tweening the timeline. So that's the object that I'm passing in. I'm going to take three seconds. And now, the property that I'm going to tween is the current progress. Okay, so let's tween the current progress to a value of one. And let's use an ease bounce dot ease out. I use the bounce because it's the most obvious tween that there, um, ease that there is. So now you'll see that I got a bunch of errors. That's fine. I'm just testing you. I need a comma here. Oh, you did see that? Cool. So there we go. Boom. There's my bounce. I can hit command return to play again. Boom. But I want this demo button to play that tween over and over again. So all I'm going to do is in my click handler, I'm going to tell demo tween to restart. And restart will re bring the current progress or the playhead of the timeline back to zero, back to the beginning, and then play again. So now I can just press this button every time I want to play that tween. So notice I'm not telling the timeline to play. I'm creating a tween that is easing the current progress property. Okay, so what we've done is gone from this file here, where I'm just setting the current progress to 75%, 100%, 25%. Instead of just setting it instantly, now I am tweening it. Okay, that's the magic right there. I'm telling the timeline's current progress to tween up to a value of one, and we're going to ease the change in progress that we have there. Now I can go back into my tween here and we could use different easing. I could also say, you know what, let's make this thing, you know, 10 seconds long. All right, press the button just to start it from scratch. Boom. So there's the bounce. And again, I can adjust the time, do a whole bunch of stuff. I'll urge you guys to always experiment with different eases. Um, let's just do a circ ease out right now, which means that it will start fast and then slow down at the end. So there you are. Starts fast and then slows down. So in order to do this sort of the old school way, you might have a big loop, that uh, for loop, that loops through all of the different boxes, creates new tweens, and then progressively changes their duration and their stagger time. You don't need to do that. What we're going to do is tween the playback of a timeline. Very cool. Now, to finish up, what I want to do is just talk also about the time scale property. Um, every tween and timeline has a time scale, which refers to the rate at which it plays back. Um, except for tween lights, don't. You need tween max to change the time scale of an individual tween. Sorry about that. So here, we're telling this same timeline that its playback rate is going to be, or time scale is going to be 0.2. TL.timescale equals 0.2. So that means it plays back very slow. But to fast forward it, I'm just going to take that time scale and tween it up to a value of 4 over 0.5 seconds. So here I can be like, eh, I'm getting a little bored, let's go quicker, and boom. I can fast forward right through. All of this just to show you the insane amount of control that we have over our various tweens. Now remember, the heart of all this animation is just this very simple timeline that has one tween max, all two tween in there. And then we can use a tween light to tween either the current progress of that timeline or the time scale of that timeline. Um, experiment with both ways. But uh, I've had a ton of fun with this, and it's just pretty amazing how well it all responds. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're excited about this stuff. Check out snorkel.tv if you want to download some of these files. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook so you're always up to date. Later.